this is Carol Harnett with the One Take Work, Love, Play Daily Video Blog. And I was interviewed today by a local reporter for our local Simsbury newspaper because last week I was asked to serve on a panel for the first Connecticut Women's Conference. And the panel was about courage and conviction and taking the leap. And I was somehow categorized with three other women as a woman of courage. And in many ways, um, that made me pretty uncomfortable. So what I did, because I'm a word person, and I think writers and speakers generally are word people, is I dove around and looked really to understand the meaning of courage. I came across uh, a TED video that I had seen earlier in the year by Brene Brown, and one of the things that she referenced was the concept of courage and its original meaning. Cur, which comes from Latin, means heart. And the original meaning of courage, when it was brought into English, was to tell your whole story with your whole heart. And that resonated for me much more. Not that I've been an expert at telling my story with my whole heart, but it's something I've been working on probably for the past couple of years and have gotten better at. Not great at, but better at. So I guess what I would say about courage is that courage is maybe the ability to take the risk to tell your story with your whole heart. And maybe that's how eventually courage morphed into the idea of bravery. For me, perhaps there were two things on the panel that I wanted to share with the audience that I think for were my biggest contributions in addition to uh, redirecting the definition of courage and the concept that you have to be vulnerable enough to want to do that. And vulnerability isn't a weakness, it's a strength, it's an ability to take great risk to share your whole self. And here's a story that I told. When I've been in positions of hiring people, it has always been my practice to surround myself with people who are different than me because that way we have a much stronger team and a much stronger product and services that we can produce. And I found that over the years that the people that I tended to hire were extremely talented people who for one reason or another were not as valued as I think they should have been by their prior employer. And one of the things I made them commit to before they I would hire them is that when they came that they would take risks and that they would use their great intellect and their, or their great innovation and their great ideas and their great storytelling to come up with something that's new and different and actually contributes. And the backup I gave them, and I really just thought about it today during the interview, the encouragement I gave them, and encourage obviously encompasses the word courage, which really means that the backup and the support that I gave them, the concepts of wanting them to tell their story with their whole heart was that if it went well, they would get all the credit. And then if something went wrong, I would take the blame. That finally got put to test, to test toward um, the end of a, um, one of my corporate um, experiences. Not the reason why I left, but uh, it did happen toward the end, probably within the last two years of my last full-time corporate experience. Someone who'd worked with me, who was in charge of a pretty big research project, um, made an error toward the end, pretty significant one, and it wound up holding up the release of what we were going to do. And now my words were put to test, and I did what I said I was going to do. And what I did was I took the blame, because ultimately it was my responsibility. And I took that all the way to the office of the president. I would not allow her to take any kind of negative repercussions other than what seemed reasonable, meaning um, what was in the limits of, of what she was responsible for, which was, was pretty minor. Uh, and I took the full full gamut of that. And the reward that I got for that, number one, was being a person who lived up to my word, but number two was seeing increased risk taking from the other people that I worked with. And that was the greatest thing of all. The other thing I will share that I was surprised about on the panel was I realized that some of the source of my courage, in fact probably most of the source of my courage, were my parents. And they brought me up with this mantra. And I don't think they thought about it as a mantra at the time, but the mantra was this. You can do anything that you want to do. You can be anything that you want to be. And they told this to my sister and I probably frequently enough that I obviously still remember it. And two of the other women on this panel actually shared that one of them said their parents told her the best she could be was a secretary or a teacher. Not that there's anything wrong with either of those things, but that's where they limited her. And another person on the panel said that her dad said you grew up in the projects, the projects are where you belong, and the best you can hope for is being a waitress. Again, nothing wrong with those things, except they limited her. So the other part of courage that I would tell you, perhaps, is if you want to impart, impart courage in your children, 
make sure that they feel that you become someone who is going to back them up. Because when I thought about it at the end of the day, what the gift my parents really gave me was, go out, try it all, and if you need a safe harbor, we're here. So this is Carol Hornet with a one take work love play daily video blog saying that I hope you're experiencing some great work today that you're joining some lovely love and that you don't forget to play. Thanks.